morning. So I'll put the whites on today because we're doing mostly painting. We are doing an oil stain later today. Um, somebody dropped diesel uh, out of their truck on a work site. So we're going to see if we can solve the problem with a bit of degreaser and hot water. Um, we're doing the all metal priming. We're going to prime this door, then going to spray it out black. So it's going to be pretty good before and after a little photo. So um, what we've done here is we taped it out and tape, taped it all out. We're going to hit it with a bit of sandpaper, um, sand down the whole door and then um, hit it with the metal primer. Then we can just spray two coats of black over the whole lot. So we taped it all out. Well, we'll have to wait for the lady to come home and then we'll tape that last little bit just under the door there so we don't overspray any of the inside. Um, yeah, nice and easy. We just got to give it a quick sand and then basically just roll all this out with the metal primer. So it's pretty aged. It's got a bit of oxidization on it. So it'll stick really well. So well, let's have a quick look at the door. We just sprayed one coat on the door. Um, so it's almost finished drying. The idea is um, I like to put one light coat. As you can see, it's not full coverage because I don't want full coverage. I want the full coverage on the second coat. That'll just give me the opportunity to get full coverage on the second coat without um, putting it too heavy because you don't want to put it too heavy where it sticks in these cracks because as soon as they open the door it's going to tear everything apart so you just want even if you spray three light coats it's way better than spraying one heavy coat I know it looks satisfying spraying one heavy coat but it doesn't always work so what we, we sprayed the roof yesterday um, got to get back up there and spray the final coat but we basically use five drums basically use five drums of paint wiped them all out this morning so we've got two left but I've got two more on the truck which will get us our last coat and then we'll move on to um, doing the gutters and pastures so since I started this month long um, vlogging all my days and how much I'm earning and stuff, it's uh, been quite great actually because the channel has boosted up crazy. Um, a lot of you guys are asking questions, which is great. Well, I'm, I'm happy to answer them as much as possible. Um, I do have the Facebook group, Aussie Wash, if you just want to jump in over there and um, ask questions with the other guys, want to learn more information, it's an easier way to get in contact with me. Because um, I'm normally trolling that group pretty hard. So just seeing what everybody's doing and helping anybody possible. But the biggest thing, if you guys can just subscribe to the channel, it's free, um, it helps me out a lot. It shows me the growth, it shows me that everybody's liking what I'm putting out. If there's some type of video that you want to see, put it in the comments and I'll make it for you guys. Um, we've got a lot of videos still coming this month that are quite interesting on in our jobs. So like we've got an oil stain to do this afternoon, which is a diesel stain. Um, and then I've got a rusty roof repaint, which is quite interesting to learn about. Um, you can fix them. It's not a fix fix. 
but it's a temporary fix to push the problem down the road another five to ten years so we'll run through that next week when we start that job but um, we got this job here so some people ask me how do I get this job this job is word of mouth so in this little pocket of houses I've done about eight houses in this little pocket and um, people walk around in the mornings and everybody talks and then this lady got told to use me I come out quoted her and then we end up I quoted for the roof wash down and then we end up doing a respray so upsold to eight thousand nine thousand dollars nearly um, so really great job really great word of mouth and it's just building a tribe of people that um, represent the price point that you you're going for and where you want to work so um, what we're going to do is I'll put it on time lapse again and we'll film this last coat Oh, spray the last coat, looking mint. Okay, so we're on another job now. We'll go back to the roof painting job tomorrow and finish that off. But I'm um, washing this one down here. As you can see, there's a little bit of algae starting already. Um, we cleaned this one uh, about two years ago this house wasn't here last time we cleaned so we could drive down but we're allowed to walk down their side and spray all this wall so we got permission to do that and then we'll do the whole house and then we'll do the driveway at the same time so what we're gonna do is downstream it all we're gonna put on the smart stream turn him on carry the remote in my pocket so we can get it from any side of the house and then get our gun wherever that is down here m5 get our gun with the m5 that'll rinse and wash everything down with low pressure Soak it all up. We'll have to jump on that balcony. We'll put a ladder up there and jump over. But you know, nice canal. We've got a couple of houses in this area. We used to have a sign just down here on the end of the block. It's um in the garden there, as you can see. Oop. In the garden there, it's all torn up, been taken down. I uh, might just have to try and sneak another one in there. But, yeah, we'll rinse all the sound now. Yeah, you still remember when you're washing these houses so close to the neighbor's house, like a meter, freaking hallway down the side of your house. Just want to double check with the neighbors if everybody's cool. Um, want to make sure the neighbor's house is all right. There's no timber or anything like that. Um, that you can damage, there's no clothes on the line. Clothes are the biggest thing. The clothes on the line will cost you 500 to maybe $2,000 if they've got a full deck of clothes on the line and you just cover them in chlorine. So double check, double check, double check. Um, and then once it's all good, just rinse really heavy and then sometimes just spray a mist over the next door neighbor's house if you're a little bit concerned about that. But um, we've already soaked all this wall up. We're just gonna rinse it all down. We're out doing a diesel stain, which is just up the middle there. They have washed a fair bit of it off. You can see it just down the guts. There, just in the... So we're gonna hit it with the greaser and see how it goes with hot water. So we've just done this oil stain. I'll put a before and after photo so everybody can see um, it was going started up about there and then come all the way down it was about three foot wide just come out of the back of a car 
spilled all the way down. Um, so we washed it with hot water and degreaser. And the degreaser drew a lot of, um, of the diesel out of the concrete, which is great. When they're fresh like that, they're pretty good. And 120 degrees of water just melted it all off. So perfect result for the customer and the contractor.